Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. So what's this amazing light show with these LED drones over the skies in Brisbane? What's this got to do with? This absolutely ridiculously beautiful piece of Western Australia and this amazing shiny metal looks like aluminium but it melts in your hand. Hang around. Let's, Let's find, find out, out together. together. Well, folks, here we are in Western Australia, a beautiful part of this country, and we're going to have a look at a very strategic metal today called gallium. And this is the area it's mined, uh, and it's just going to be a bit of fun, I think. Look at this place. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, hang in there. We're going to go and have a look at how important gallium is to the future of Australia. Well, folks, today we're dropping in from the height of a geostationary satellite. That's accurate weather, by the way, for today, but you don't know when today is, so it doesn't help you. We're dropping into a place called the Smoke Bush Mineral Claim, and it's in the um, Yalgu Mineral Region of Western Australia. And here we are, we're dropping in now. Aerial shots aren't a big thing over here because it does look a lot like Mars. But what we're seeing here is a place where they are prospecting for gallium and they're finding it all right and it's it's here and it's the country ain't much to look at really i think it's beautiful but it's a very mineralized area there's a, a huge gold mine not too far from here there's a tungsten mine not too far from here so as you can see it's very mineralized just by its color and uh this gallium's sad story it's got some impurities in it something called lithium i hope they can find something to do with that anyway let's move on and look at some more details So folks, what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about gallium. Here's our old periodic table of elements, and here it is. Number 31 with aluminium above it, indium below it, zinc, germanium, tin, cadmium. You can see it's a metal. And uh, it's by itself, it's a beautiful white soft metal. Looks like aluminium. Um, it's non-toxic in its elemental form, but uh, it has a party trick. Its melting point is about 29 degrees C. Now this stuff will melt in your hand. Yet you can hit it when it's not melted and it just sounds like aluminium, but when you put it in your hand, it melts. It's of course a bit of a trick. Um, it's not a lot of uses in its, me in its uh, metallic form. Um, of course, have a listen to this. There's a spoon, looks like a spoon, sounds like a spoon, except uh, if you... Uh, Pick it up, it feels like a spoon, you don't hang on to it too long, but when you stir hot water with it, it melts. It's a trick spoon, a gallium spoon. So yeah, that's its party trick. Uh, I don't know that there are much use for gallium as a metal, but it does have some amazing properties. You saw its neighbours there, germanium, aluminium, zinc, these all have fantastic properties. So. Let's move on from its party trick here. It's only warm water, not going to hurt anyone. And let's see what happens when you start mixing this stuff with other things. So folks, if you take our beautiful shiny gallium and you mix it with this nasty stuff, arsenic, which is poisonous and makes the gallium compound a bit poisonous too. Uh, arsenic, by the way, looks like this when it comes out of the ground. It's a metalloid. And when you mix gallium and arsenic, you create an alloy and it's called gallium arsenide. And uh, it has a party trick because it's a semiconductor and it's a semiconductor that's band gap is about around visible light. So it looks like this. They're crystals ready to be cut into 
you know what, LEDs. It's uh, the original LEDs, these things, granddad LEDs, gallium arsenide. Uh, but it's real trick is that uh, if you can um, mount them on drones, you can do amazing stuff like this with them. And they're all, all those LEDs contain, and if you contain gallium arsenide, I'm sorry, if you cut them very carefully and you're very clever, you can make them into lasers. So LED lasers, of course, they're good for this stuff. And a million and one other uses I know, but you know, this was just fairly graphic. One of the things that most people don't know is that every single LED color has got gallium in it somewhere. If it doesn't have gallium arsenide, it's got gallium in it somewhere. So, you know, this stuff is important. So where do we get this from? Well, we're looking for it in Western Australia. So you can see Western Australia is fairly red. Oh, hang on. I put up the wrong slide. <laughs> That's Mars. Yeah, okay, here's Western Australia. Ooh, if it wasn't for the trees, not much difference really. And you can see this is very mineralized. Uh, you don't need to be a geologist to see this is very mineralized country. And uh, they've been drilling holes as they do, looking for various things, gold usually, and they find other things. Now they've got a prospect here called the Smoke Bush Prospect. They were looking for gold. But where that green bit is there, Mm, they started finding some other things. They hit some pegmatites, and those pegmatites, and uh, here it is on a geological map. I apologise for the complexity. West Australian geology is not for beginners. Um, it is a magnetic here, and this is the anomaly that they, they're finding uh, contains these uh, these minerals. And uh, this is pegmatite, pegmatite, I should say. It contains our gallium. It also contains another impurity, which is just yucky stuff called lithium. So they'll just filter all that lithium out and they'll just probably just, you know, sell it. Here's the guys, the men in the high-vis, men and women in the high-vis out working in 45 degrees, 50 degrees C, drilling holes, trying to find this stuff. And this is the country they're drilling into. It's, oh, I think it's beautiful in its own way. Spin effects planes. Um, yeah, so that's gallium with its little uh, party trick that you can melt it in your hand and in the end you've still got a hand. How cool is that? Well folks, back on the track and then that's gallium all you ever wanted to know. I think it's going to be an awesome strategic metal in the future and Australia is going to be part of it for sure. Those guys in Western Australia particularly guys in the high vis out on the RC rigs, working their asses off at 45 to 50 degrees C. A lot of respect. More videos coming soon, so you know what I'm going to say. Keep rocking. T-Rock's out.